Okay, today I'm going to explain the vector for form 5, I think it's chapter 4. Okay, but then this is the simple question of, of the vector. I mean, these two examples actually I explained today is only come out in paper 1 for MX paper 1. Lah. Okay, so okay, let's start about this question. He says the following information refers to the vector A and B. So first you must understand what is the meaning A to A. If you learn about translation, if you learn about translation, 2-8 means what? If you learn about translation, 2-8 actually means what? 2 is moving to the x axis, and y is moving on the y axis, correct now? Mean move like this, 2 units, and then going down, 8 units. Okay, this, because this one you learn in translation, right? Okay. In vector actually is related to this one. So you got 2a means actually this is the vector of a. This is the vector of a because he says 2a means actually moving to the uh, right two unit and uh, sorry, this is not negative 8, this is positive 8. Positive 8 means actually move up. So, yep, so let me draw again. Okay, this one is wrong. Okay, so it's 2, 8 here means 2 units to this direction and 8 units go up because it's positive 8. Unless it's negative 8, then this one is correct. So this is 2 unit, 8 unit. So this one is the vector A. Okay, this is the meaning for vector A. So let's say vector B. B is negative 1. Negative 1 means moving to the left direction and then positive 4 means going up 4 units this is the meaning by positive 4 if negative 4 means moving down lah. so this one this is the vector this is the vector b okay okay this of course this one you do not need to draw in the exam i just explain to make you understand this one what is the meaning by 2 a and negative 1 and 4 okay then first he asks you to find the vector 2a minus b this is very simple so in order to solve this one you just substitute in into it so 2a what is a a is 2 and 8 minus b what is the vector b negative 1 4 so what you need to do is you just multiply in you have got 4 and 16 minus negative 1 and 4 okay in vector you must remember each of the value in uh, inside this column they have their own position one means this is for x this is for y so if for x can only minus with the x one so you cannot minus you cannot 4 minus with the 4 because they are different position means the top one only can minus with the top one bottom only can minus with the bottom one okay remember this one so 4 minus negative 1 we will got 4 minus negative 1 means 4 plus 1 so we got 5 16 minus 4 we got 12 okay we can write in this this form or yeah or if you want to write it in the in the form in Cartesian plan, you can write like five i plus twelve j. They are the same thing. Both are the same thing. If you write this one, it's correct. If you write this one, it's correct also. Okay, this. Okay, then let's do the part B. Part B actually. He said what? He asked you to find the unit vector in the direction 2a minus b. Mean this is 2a minus b, right? He asked you to find the unit vector for 2a minus b. We got the vector for 2a minus b already. It's 5i plus 12j. So 5i plus 12j. Okay, so for unit vector, of course, you must know the formula for unit vector. So unit vector of, let's say, okay of 2a minus b the formula will will be the vector of 2a minus b divide by the magnitudes of 2a minus b okay vector we got already vector is 5 uh, 5i plus 12j so we got the vector later, later we substitute on the top but then we do not have the magnitude for 2a minus b what is the magnitudes? 
of 2a minus b. Okay, actually the magnitude is, uh, the formula of the magnitude actually is same with the Pythagorean's, uh, Pythagorean's theory. Okay, so I've, I substitute in the vector into this one first. So this is 5i plus 12j. Okay, what is the meaning for 5i plus 12j first? Actually, this one is the same also. Do you see the translation over here? So, 5i means actually mo moving to the uh, right direction, 5 unit, and moving up 12 unit. This means 5i plus 12j. Correct or not? So, this is the vector. This is the vector for, uh, for 2 2a minus b minus b this is the vector for 2a minus b after we solve this one we got 5i plus 12j then he asked us to find about he asked us to find about the mag, uh, the magnitude for this one so this modular symbol inside here this one means magnitude means he asked you to find about this length if this is a triangle with 90 degree we learn about Pythagoras corona Pythagorean tell us that a square plus b square will equal to c square. So a square plus b square will equal to c square. Therefore, c equals to square root of a square plus b square. Correct or not? So if you remember this one, magnitudes of 2a minus b is exactly the same. It's square root of 5 square plus 12 square. That's all. This is the this is the meanings of magnitude. So magnitude is very simple. So in order to solve the magnitude, I just take the in front values as a a and in front values of j here uh, means the constant value of j here as the b. So this one the the magnitudes we have got is square root of five square plus twelve square, which is square root of ah this is 13 so square root of 169 and then you will got 13 so after you got 13 you can just substitute back so therefore okay continue this one we got this we got this vector right because we just got it just now is 5i plus 12j and then divided by the uh the magnitudes where we square root of 5 square plus 12 square then we have got 5i plus 12j divided by 13. Therefore, if I separate this one, I will got 5 over 13i plus 12 over 13j. Then I done this question. Is that simple? Of course, you must remember about the formula for unit vector. Actually, it's given in the formula list, but then you need to understand. If not even given, I, I also think you might confuse. So if you understand, then we can proceed to the next question. Okay. Okay, but then sometimes actually you write in this form, your teacher will give you correct also. But then if you write it like this, we will be safer. Okay, then we go to the next question. Okay, this one is very simple, but then you must understand about the triangle rule. So first is, okay, I think this question is not yet finished. A, he asks you to find about QR. B, he asks you to find about PT. Okay, first you must understand about triangle rule in, or, in order to solve this one. So triangle rule tell us that, okay, for example, uh, okay, we draw a triangle, a small triangle over here. Okay, is I give you a name A, B, and C. Okay, let's say I want to find B, C. B to C, huh? so I draw an arrow for B, C. Okay, this is the starting point, this is the ending point. So we from B go to C. This is the shorter distance. If I want to go B to C, but then I do not want to use a shorter distance, I want to use the longer distance. I can go from this starting point, go to A first, and then reach A, I turn to B. I also from B reach the C, right? But then this, this time I from B to A. So 
equals to B A, and then from A I turn to C plus A C. This is the very important triangle rule. If you understand about this one, I think you can solve almost every question for in order uh, related to the triangle. Okay, so first A. As for Q R. So from here, Q to R. Q to R. Okay, I draw an arrow for QR. Q to R, this is the starting point and this is the ending point. Because direction from Q to R, right? This is a shorter distance. So if I want to uh, from Q to R, but then I do not want to use the shorter distance, I want to use a longer one, I can go this direction, correct not? Q to P and then P to R. Therefore, I know it will equal to QP plus PR. Okay, okay, but then you have some issue over here is we do not have QP. QP because this arrow is PQ. So over here we have P to Q is equals to 6A. 6B, sorry, 6B. But then we do not have QP, so we have to change. QP will equals to when you change direction, you must add a negative for it. So it will be negative. 6b so this one is negative 6b plus pr do we have pr p to r yes arrow is p to r plus 4a therefore i just rearrange this one equal to 4a minus 6b because he said express in terms of a and b so i have a and b over here i done the first part i get two mark okay and then b he asked you to find the pt where's pt this is p to T. Okay, imagine this is a straight line, of course. Okay, he asks you to find your PT. So imagine this is your starting point, this is your ending point. This okay, P to T. So actually you got two ways to go from P to T uh, if you do not want to use a shorter distance, which is you can go from P to R and then R to T because you go this way, you can reach T. Or you can go from P to Q or Q to T. So you can choose either one, but then you must know about what is the vector over here or over here. No matter you choose this way or this way, you must know about the vector. Therefore, he gives you the ratio QT ratio TR. QT will equal to 3. So I just write here which is 3. So TR equal to 1. Okay, but then this is ratio. This is not the vector. Okay, we have the vector for Q to R is 4a minus 6b so let's say because it's in this direction so let's say i find qt so qt qt actually because this is this is qr right so qt actually is 3 over 4 of qr correct or not because Q, okay, total ratio over here is 4, but then QT use, already used 3. So because TR, okay, maybe TR is actually 1 over 4 of QR. TR actually is 1 over 4 of QR because the ratio for TR is 1. Okay, so now the ratio for QT is 3. Then what's your total ratio? It's 4. So QT is actually equals to 3 over 4 of QR. Okay, then you must understand this one and able to write out this one. Then only you can solve this kind of question. So very simple. If when you find out the ratio, you divide by the total. Okay, of course QR is the long, longest one. It's compared to QT. So impossible QT will get longer than QR. So so you be careful on the fraction over here. The fraction over here should not more than one. Okay, so therefore we will have. 3 over 4 of uh, okay 4a minus 6b because this is qr qr okay when you do the ratio thing you also must be careful on the arrow let's say because now i find qt the same arrow with the qr let's say suddenly i want to find tq you must be remember to change the arrow when you change the arrow must remember to add a negative for it because a lot of students will make those kind of mistakes. Okay, so then I just simplified 4 and 4, then I will get 3a 
minus, I just simplified this one, I got 2, I got 3, 9 over 2, B. Okay, this is QT. You just do the simple fraction, then means you just multiply 3 over 4 into A and B. Then you can get this one. So, since I already do the QT, so therefore it's very easy for me to find PT. Because I just apply whatever I have over here. So, I have QT already. So, let me continue. Okay, so therefore, PT, PT will equal to P to Q plus Q to T plus QT, correct or not? P to Q we have is 6B, it's simple. And then Q to T we just find out is plus 3A minus 9 over 2B. Then B and A can never plus together. Uh. B only can plus together with the B. So we have 3A minus, okay, okay, S okay. step by step, uh. plus 6B minus 9 over 2B. Then B and B we solve. 3A, this one actually is 12 over 2. If you change this one to fraction, it will be 12 over 2. Huh? So 12 over 2 minus 9 over 2, we still have 3 over 2B. Then we, we, we're done. And then we got the correct answer for it. Okay, okay. Now maybe you think, you think that you, you might want to try another journey to see whether you can get the same answer or not. So let's try it out. Okay, just now we from this, this journey, right? Now we've tried this journey. So you try this journey, so we have to find TR. So TR will actually is 1 over 4 of QR, right? So it'll be 1 over 4 because the ratio here is 1, total is 4 of QR. Therefore, I substitute in the QR. QR I have over here is 4A minus 6B. Okay, then I just multiply 1 over 4 into it. I will got A uh, minus 3 over 2B. You just multiply in and simplify. Okay, now we got QR, or we got TR already. And then we want to find PT because B asks us to find PT, right? So PT will equals to, okay, P to T, yeah? so if I use this journey, we P go to R and then R turn to T. So it will be P R plus R T. Okay, we have, we have the P R is for A, but then we do not have R T, we got T R. R T and T R means the different direction, you have to add a negative, so I add a negative, we got plus what? So I add a negative, become negative. Minus, what is TR? A minus 3 over 2B. Therefore, I just solve A and A. Huh? A cannot solve with B. Huh? So 4A minus A, I got 3A. Negative, multiple negative, I got positive 3 over 2B. Okay, let's see. Both also will give you the exactly same answer. Do you see that? No matter you go from PQ to QT or PR to RT, you should get the same answer for PT. Okay, just make sure you do it correctly in the those that simplif simplify and then make sure you do it correctly when you write the relationships between them. Okay, of course, if you ask me, I will encourage you to use this journey. Why? Because you do not need to add a negative for it. Because if because you if if you go from RT RT you have to add a negative for it. But then this one all is positive. So this one actually is simple. But then if you are very confident that you can handle very well on negative, then you can choose either one you like. Okay? I hope these two examples help you understand better about the vector. Okay? Thanks for watching.